Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today, I have the O-Ray BK-401A, four input, one output, 8K HDMI switch. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to connect four different ultra-high definition HDMI media devices to a single ultra-high definition monitor at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on the monitor at any given time by simply tapping a button on the front of the unit or by using the infrared remote control. The product fully supports 8K ultra-high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as is HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear and even your older gear. The unit also provides complete compatibility for both ARC audio and EARC audio, which means it's going to work great with all of your modern audio gear as well. Finally, the product has EDID switch settings on the front that allow you to easily adjust both the frame rate resolution and audio style to match your media content and your monitors. Now, as part of this review, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the BK401A and explain the ports and connectors so you understand exactly how to use it. I'll do a quick demonstration as well to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment, and then I'll come back one more time and explain some things about the product that I think are really special that you can use to compare it to other 4x1 switches you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the BK401A, you'll find a single DC power supply, you can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet, the other end has a barrel connection on it, you'll plug that into the DC input port in the back, and that'll provide all the power you'll need for operation. Also included with the kit is an infrared remote control. This is a really nice addition because most switches on the market don't come with a remote, and they're great if you set them up on your desk, but if you want to use this in your media room, you're going to need to be able to make your selections from a distance away, and that remote control allows you to do that. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that explains connections and specifications and a lot of other really good information about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll do the demonstration, and then I'll come back with a few final thoughts. The O-Ray BK-401A features a full metal enclosure which makes it incredibly durable and really helps to minimize outside interference from in causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that were designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find an infrared receiver window, and that works in concert with the remote control, and it's where the signals from that remote are picked up. So when you set this up on your desktop or on your media center, and you're using the remote, make sure that window is visible. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. Once it completes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that are four input indicators, one, two, three, and four. These show you which of the inputs is currently being displayed on your output monitor. And you can change that by tapping this button right here. To the right of that is an output indicator. The minute you connect this up to an ultra high definition monitor with an HDMI cable, that connection is checked. Once it's been verified, the output indicator comes on, letting you know you have a solid connection. This product has auto selection capabilities and you can put it in automatic mode. The unit will then select which of the inputs is sent to the output, typically the first one that comes online. This product is also EARC and ARC compliant. So if you're using equipment that adhere to those standards, you can turn that function on by tapping this button and this LED will come on. To the right of both of these buttons is a bank of EDID switches and these can be used to change the audio style, the frame rate, and the resolution of your input media versus your output media and they're fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a service port. It's a USB-C port that you can use for updating the firmware on the module if needed later on and to do that you'll simply connect this to your computer, move the firmware file to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left you'll find four full-sized HDMI ports labeled N1, 2, 3, and 4. These connect to the media devices that you'd like to share in your output monitor. Take note that input number one is labeled eARC and that should connect to the eARC device. To the right of those four is another HDMI port labeled output and again eARC. This connects to your monitor on the eARC or ARC port. 
This product also provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio component from the HDMI media stream you're displaying and then allow you to pass that along through an optical SP diff or a left and right analog connection to a soundbar or home stereo for full theater experience. And if you want to use that feature, you can connect to these two ports here. That's the digital and that's the analog. Finally, to the right of that is the DC input port, and that's used in conjunction with the power supply. Simply plug that power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable from that has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up four different HDMI media devices. Three of them are small media players. Two of those media players are displaying static images to make it easy to tell them apart. And the third media player is actually looping a video. And I have a mini PC set up as well, because I wanted to show you that you can mix and match different technologies with different resolutions on the Switch at the same time. Over here, I've set up a nice 4K monitor as my output device, and in front of me, I have the BK-401A. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are from my media devices directly to the switch. I've already connected four high-speed HDMI cables up to the units, and I'll plug the other end of those cables into HDMI input number one, two, three, and finally number four. And now we're ready to connect up my output monitor. I have another high-speed cable connected to that, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port. And the only thing we're missing at this point is power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs directly into the DC input port in the back of the unit. And the minute I plug that in, the unit starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. It's also checking the input resolution of all my media devices and the output resolution of the monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture on that monitor. And there you go. That's input number one currently, and that's the video. So you can see it's a beautiful picture. It's handling that really well. If I'd like to switch to the next product, I'll click the button once. It'll move on to input number two. It takes a second for it to make the adjustment again between the input resolution and the output resolution because it wants to give you the absolute best picture on that display. There's input number two, a game console. Now I'll switch to number three. And you can make that selection using the button on the front or the remote control, totally up to you. That's the laptop, so that's the mini PC coming in. And finally, input number four. And the nice part here is that it automatically detects what the resolution is of the input device. It knows the resolution of the monitor, and it's going to do what it can to give you the best possible picture on that output. And there's input number four. So again, I can use the remote control, or I can use the buttons if I'm close enough to the switch. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope that closer look and demonstration were helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the Yoray BK-401A, four input, one output, 8K HDMI switch with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the resolution. This product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second. A lot of other 4x1 switches on the market may only support 4K content or 1080p content, and even though you may only be viewing 4K content today, knowing you've got a switch that can handle the higher resolution at the higher frame rate means you can use this with the equipment you own today and also use it with any upgrade equipment you may purchase in the future. Two other really important things about this switch are the HDMI 2.1 certification and the HDCP 2.3 certification. Because the HDMI standard has gone through a lot of changes in recent years, there have been a lot of new features introduced, and knowing you're on the latest version of HDMI for 8K content means you can take advantage of all those features. The HDCP certification is important as well because that controls copy protection. So again, knowing you're on the latest version of HDCP means you can play all of your copy protected files without issue. I also like the fact that this product fully supports both ARC and EARC audio because you're going to get the best possible audio through that type of connection and most modern sound bars and stereos accept that type of input. Finally, I really like the fact that they've included the remote control because a lot of these switches don't come with a remote control, and that'll be fine if it's on your desk, but if you set this up in your media center, you've got to get up from your couch and go up to the thing and push the button, so I really like the fact that the remote control is included. That allows me to settle back in on my couch and make those selections from a distance away from the unit. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit. It's a very simple product to use, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So thanks a lot for watching.